guys and gals. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. It is Sunday the morning, and we are leaving now. Yeah, we went over here to Coop and fueled up a little bit on the truck. <clears throat> we weren't able to fill her up all the way, but uh, I would say about a three quarters of the way we were able to fill her up. Otherwise, we would be overweight, and we don't want that, right? Nope, not at least not me. So I uh, scaled her here at the yard and made sure that I calculated it out, how much fuel I could get, and I have about a three quarters of a tank. So I do have, you know, a good amount of fuel, and since I do have bigger Speed tanks to than a lot of guys out there, I probably have about the same amount of fuel as a lot of other guys do. So yeah, anyways, we're uh, making our way down to North Carolina now. Yeah, we got 2,600 kilometers to go. So that's about 600, uh, 1,600 and uh, roughly 30 miles or something like that. But we got us a pretty decent trip again. Even if I come straight home from there, that's like 3,200 miles. Hey, I can't complain. You know, that is fantastic. Welcome to the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the cornfields right now. <laughs> yeah, North Dakota it is. Of course, what else would it be, right? So, we got us 1,542 miles to go. And it was an easy border crossing today. Absolutely beautiful today. It was like maybe 30 seconds there by the booth, and that was it. They you know, already let me go. Not too many questions, just basically what I got. And if I got any fruits and vegetables or anything like that, that was it. Give me the car to get straight out. Another guy ahead of me there, he had to back her into the dock. And I got the A-OK, -okay, so I guess everything must be looking good at my end. Well, you know, I'm an honest guy. And, you know. I ain't gonna try and do something stupid and I always declare if I have something like for instance green peppers or onions and stuff like that that is something that you have to declare at the border yeah I always do that so they know you know hey this guy is honest and he always declares it if he has something and all that good stuff so what can I say right but yeah Looks like the sun is trying to peek through, but just enough clouds, I guess, to where it's kind of being hidden over there, but I'm happy, guys. I'm very, very happy. Truck is running good. We get good miles. We had like just a little bit over 4,000 miles last trip, and uh, this is going to give me at least 3,200 miles. You know, even if I come straight back home from there, you know, I calculated it out. A 1,615 miles one way for me to go down there and deliver the load and then come straight back if I do come straight back. Kind of hoping though that they'll give me a load up to Toronto and then back home or something like that. That would be awesome. That would be very awesome actually. But even if I don't get that, even if I go straight back home, I'll have 3,200 miles in the books guaranteed. So uh, right now we still got two more days or basically today and tomorrow that we can drive in our miles. And on uh, Tuesday morning, that's when it is the first, then I'll reset my satellite. And according to the satellite, I had 12,170 miles when I left this morning on the satellite. So that means if I do about another thousand miles today and tomorrow combined, then I'll have about 13,200 miles roughly on the satellite for the month, for this month. 
Now that is a very good hard working month. I'm telling you guys. That is a lot of miles under your belt. That's for sure. And that makes me happy. That's what we've been wanting to do. And get good paychecks. That's exactly what we need in order to survive the big hurdles that we've encountered over the last couple of months. So we need big paychecks so we can pay that, right? But anyways, we talked about that before already. So let's move on. And let's continue with our journey. Appreciate you guys actually tuning in today. It is Sunday and we are working. We as truck drivers, we have to work weekends if we want a good, good miles, you know. I just did a reset and go again, so that worked in my favor actually this time going out on Sunday. All right, guys, we are now in Minnesota. And it seems like it's just getting more and more cloudy instead of less cloudy. I was hoping we would have nice sunshine this afternoon, but no siri bob it's just looking like it could snow all of a sudden they're like them gray clouds where we usually get in winter where it could be snowing and that's what it looks like and you know i think overnight it actually could probably be snowing right now it'd be a little bit on the warmer side so i mean it's not impossible but it probably not be snowing right now i mean right now it's like plus five plus four around that area so it's just above freezing so it's kind of hard to actually be seeing snow right now but it is not impossible but anyways uh, let's just hope that it ain't going to do that that's something we don't need right now we just cleaned our truck yesterday as you saw on the video and we want to keep the truck nice and clean right but on the outside it's not very clean right now it's gotten a little bit dirty there yeah yesterday no not yesterday the day before i came back to pinners and their yard is muddy they don't have a asphalt yard yet so the truck gets all muddy from driving in their mud yard oh well the way it's been like for a hundred years almost so doesn't look like it's going to change anytime soon <laughs> but that's all right i guess we're just going to need to wash the truck again and who knows we might do that tomorrow we might i don't know for sure that's a possibility but we'll see how the weather is going to hold up and we'll probably make a decision on that then right if the weather is not going to look good tomorrow, then we ain't going to do it. If it's like this, nah, I don't think we'll do it. <laughs> but uh, that's all right. I was just listening to the uh, Big Rig talk show there a little bit ago. I actually called in too and talked to them a little bit. All that stuff, so... He's got a good show going on there, so... So yeah, anyways, we'll continue on with our journey and see what else comes up today. I only have about 12 more miles to go, guys. And then I'll be in Rogers, Minnesota. And I have been told that a subscriber of mine is going to meet me up there. So, we're going to go ahead and make a pit stop over there, it looks like. We got a little bit of a traffic jam here. I don't know exactly why that is today, but there a minute ago we came almost to a stop, not quite, but almost, and then it got rolling again and looks like it's doing the same thing here again, slowing down at least. But no big deal. We only got about 12 more miles to go. We can keep it rolling. And then we'll be fine, right? We'll get there. We'll make it happen. Yeah, we'll probably go in there and have supper or something like that. And then uh, 
we'll probably continue on for a little bit yet tonight and uh, go up to uh, Wilson, Wisconsin at least. That's kind of my plan. That would be awesome if I could make her up there tonight. Now see that was more or less just like a little bit of a slow down here it seems like. Now we're speeding up again. But anyways, let's go over there and uh, let's go see if we can meet up with the subscriber of ours. I have met up with him once for a few minutes and that was it. And uh, now it looks like it's going to be on a weekend. It's Sunday. You know, might have us a good dinner there and good chat. All that good stuff so uh, we'll see how it goes all right guys we did do decide that we were going to go through Minneapolis and we did yes indeed we did we went as far as wheels in Wisconsin and we are here now for the night yes indeed so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed me meeting up with a subscriber of mine if you did give me a big thumbs up and uh hey be sure to share this video with your friends and family i'll be sure to check in tomorrow you never know what we're up to it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come